What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Would you guys believe me if I told you that I've had this makeup on since yesterday? Take a look, take a look. I mean, I can't believe it too. As you guys can tell by today's video title, this video is all about semi-permanent makeup techniques that I found on TikTok. The contour, the lashes, the brows, the lips, everything. This whole look has been done yesterday and it has lasted through the heat wave. I honestly don't know why I haven't been doing this makeup routine sooner, but I mean, sign me up because I'm gonna be doing this every week now. Honestly, after filming this video, I genuinely feel like my whole routine is gonna change so much. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. Let's just say this makeup look is kiss proof, sweat proof, summer proof, cry proof, everything proof. Also, like I said, I'm on day one of having this makeup look on and I genuinely feel like I could probably go strong for like the next two or three days. But yeah, I really feel like I'm onto something and I'm about to put you guys on it too. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. Also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But anyways, I'm sure you guys are so eager to see what kind of techniques I found on TikTok as well as the products I'm gonna use. So let's get into the video. All right guys, so starting out with my bare face, the first kind of like makeup technique that's semi-permanent that we're gonna be trying out today is this one right here. This is just one of the users that I've seen recently do this. This technique has been going absolutely viral in the last like few months and honestly I've been seeing so many people do it. I have actually tried this technique I think like five years ago I did a video on it on YouTube. It's actually kind of crazy how trends and techniques kind of like die off and then they come back around. I mean I've been doing YouTube for like almost 10 years or so so I feel like I've seen everything. I've seen all of the trends kind of like do this. So people like this user right here are basically applying their fake tanner with either a beauty blender or a brush. I'm actually gonna use a bit of both. With this technique, I feel like the most important thing is actually just blending things out properly because you don't wanna have harsh lines on your face for like a few days. And just in case you guys are wondering, for my self tanner, I'm gonna be using the Saint Tropez Luxe Whipped Tanner, which looks like this. All right, so I've got that fake tanner on my mitt and I'm just gonna go straight in with my brush and pick some of that up. The brush I'm using is quite flat and dense. And now literally what you wanna do is you wanna start applying that fake tanner onto the areas where you would normally bronze or contour. So I'm just gonna start by applying it onto my cheekbone. I'm trying to keep it quite high because obviously we do wanna blend out that edge afterwards. The thing that is super important about this technique is definitely the blend. You don't wanna leave any harsh edges because it's gonna look ridiculous when it sets. I'm actually gonna be using my beauty blender to kind of get rid of any of those harsh lines as I go. You just wanna kind of tap it in and make sure it's nice and blended. So I'm basically just applying that onto my forehead, my cheekbone bones and I'm also going to contour my nose with this too. I feel like this is such a genius technique because who doesn't want their contour to last a couple of days? I feel like this specifically is so good if you're going on holiday and you don't really want to wear makeup every day because obviously you're going to be by the beach or by the pool and this is just so low maintenance. You literally have to do this once every like three or four days because this is going to last on your face for a couple of days. I may be speaking too soon because obviously we haven't seen the results yet but I'm pretty sure this is going to work very well and I'm just like why didn't I do this before? I'm now going to use the slightly smaller end of the brush to kind of contour my nose so I'm just going to go underneath the tip of my nose like I usually do and then I'm also going to apply a little bit onto the top to kind of give myself that button shaped nose which I really really like. I'm also going to drag that contour up to like my eye sockets because I feel like that will look really really nice and kind of like sun kissed. You know what? I might actually take it a step further and I might do a little bit of like an eyeshadow at the edge of my eye because I did see one of the girls do this and it looked amazing. Obviously you don't want to go too near your eyes just in case but I'm just gonna kind of keep it on the outer corners like this. I think it's probably also a good idea to go in with like a big blending brush to really make sure that we're getting rid of any harsh lines. Okay so I'm pretty happy with how that's looking so far. It looks a little bit patchy on camera but I think that's just like the way the lighting is hitting the tan. I'm also gonna kind of sculpt my jawline because I did see another girl do this too and I mean why not? I absolutely love contouring my jawline with makeup. So, I mean, it's no different with a tan, I guess. All right, guys, so that is my semi-permanent contour all done. I am just in love with the way this looks already. I'm gonna obviously let it develop and we're gonna move on to the next step. Unless you guys have been living under a rock, I feel like most of you guys would have heard of this product. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow. Once again, it's not a new product. This has been around for absolute years, but for some reason, TikTok has just rediscovered this. I remember the first time I used this on my channel 
channel probably like again five years ago maybe even six years ago and it was such a big hype now of course this product is originally meant for your eyebrows you're supposed to apply this with the little applicator onto your brows and it's basically like a brow tint that you peel off and then it reveals the tint underneath from experience this lasts a couple of days and I mean it's a really good product once again I haven't used this in years but I am really excited to rediscover it however as well as brows people have also started using this for freckles eyeliner as well as lip liner as you guys can see by this user right here she literally did like a whole look with it now Obviously, in the results, you can tell that the eyeliner and the freckles and the brows look really good, but the lip liner looks a little bit off. And I feel like so many people have been trying it. For some people, it works really well. For others, it just looks a bit weird. But I think what the problem is, is that the edges of the product are not blended out before it sets. It's probably gonna be a little bit difficult to blend out the edges of this product, but I'm gonna try my best and see if I can make it look a little bit better. This is what the applicator looks like. It's quite a thick one. And I don't think it's very precise. So I'm actually gonna use my own brush with this. Okay, so first things first, I'm actually gonna go in and do my eyebrows. So I'm just literally gonna draw on my eyebrows as I normally would and just fill in any sparse areas. Okay, already because I'm using my own brush, I feel like I can get really precise with this and really just make it as if I was just using makeup. If you guys have tried this product before and you didn't really get on with the applicator, honestly try it with your own brush because I feel like you're gonna get way better results. Also because my brush is quite thin, I can even do like the tiny little strands at the front of my brows, which is definitely gonna make this whole brow look way more natural. Okay, so that is one brow done. Let's move on to the next one. This brow is always so much worse than the other. It's so sparse right at the tail. So I'm gonna really need a lot of help here. Okay, so my brows are now done. This is what they look like. Obviously, I have to let this set for a couple of minutes, but whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna actually apply this on my eyes, which I'm a little bit scared because if I mess this up, I feel like there's no going back. So for the eyeliner, I'm using the exact same technique. I'm using the same brush as my eyebrows. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm really taking my time with this, and if I mess up, I'm gonna clean up any edges as I go. Just because if this sets and it's wrong, it's gonna be like this on your face for a couple of days. Okay, that's my first wig. That's not turned out too bad. Let's just hope that it doesn't develop patchy. Okay, on to the other side. Now to make this match, this is gonna be a nightmare. Okay, my eyeliner is now done. I feel like it looks pretty symmetrical, so hopefully it should be okay. Now the next step would of course be to try it as freckles, which I feel like so many people have done that, but personally, I've discovered over the last couple of months that I really don't like freckles on me. I love it on other people, but I think it looks wrong on me. However, I am gonna try and use this product as a lip liner because I really wanna make that work. So once again, I'm picking up that product on my little precise brush, but this time I wanna make sure that the edges on the inside are really blend it out. Okay, so now my Maybelline tattoos are now on. My lips, my eyebrows, and also my eyeliner is just drying now, which is gonna take probably about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna try not to talk too much more because I don't want this to kind of like break up around my lips. So I will see you guys in a couple of minutes once we're ready to peel this off. Okay guys, so it's been 15 minutes and it's already starting to peel off at the lips. So I'm just gonna pull everything off and see what it's like underneath. Look at that guys. Even though I've already used this product many times, it always amazes me how cool it is. Look, it literally just peels off. It's so satisfying. Okay, am I crazy? I actually don't think that looks awful. I think it looks kind of natural. I mean, it's a good base. I don't have to do my lip liner now. I can literally just go over the top with a lip product. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that definitely worked and it looks a lot better than it did in the TikTok. I feel like she did it too harsh of a line. Let's see if the eyeliner worked the same. Oh, oh God, it's stuck in my lashes. Ow. <laughs> Okay, that's the eyeliner. I mean, it's very subtle. I probably should have kept the eyeliner on for a bit longer. This one's literally peeling off on the end. 
Ooh. Okay, yeah, I mean it works for sure, but I feel like if I wanted it to be a little bit more opaque I probably should have left it on for maybe even half an hour. Okay, and lastly we have the brows I'm kind of nervous for this, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna look fine Okay, this is kind of hard to pull out in one piece So I'm just gonna have to kind of like scrape it out my brows. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of that peel <laughs> on the end Okay, I mean so far it's not looking terrible. I just need to like brush it all out to be honest because it's a little bit bitty Okay, that is my brow with it out completely. It looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god This is so satisfying once again I feel like I just have to brush it all out because it is just not coming out as one layer Okay, so that's the brows all out I mean it probably could have done a little bit longer on this corner here because as you guys can see it's not very opaque But the tint overall has done a really good job. I really like how precise it looks under here So my final verdict of the Maybelline tattoo brow is that it definitely works really well for your brows as well as your eyeliner And even your lip liner as long as you blend it out. Now moving on to the next step of our semi-permanent makeup routine, we're gonna be trying out the famous Fenty Lip Stain. This has gone completely viral all over TikTok, everyone is trying this and they're raving about how long this lasts. So I've got mine here in the shade Strawberry Sangria, which is a really nice like pinky kind of orangey sort of shade. And what I thought would be really fun is not only to try it on my lips, but also as a blush. Am I crazy? I mean, I feel like it's gonna work really well as long as we're sparing with the amount. So first things first, I'm gonna apply this to my lips. Oh my gosh, it's very red. I'm pretty sure this isn't the like final color though. This is just like the color guard. Okay, let's just apply this straight to our lips. Okay, so that's the lip stain on. I have to say it applied really nicely. The formula is so creamy. Now, obviously this isn't the color that it's gonna be. Once I wipe this off, it should reveal a much more like natural and subtle lip stain. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let this stay on my lips for maybe like five to 10 minutes. And whilst I do that, I'm actually gonna focus on my lash extensions. So now for my lashes, if you are a little bit unfortunate when it comes to your lash department, like yours truly, I feel like this next step is gonna be so life-changing for you. Once again, this is another viral TikTok technique that I have found through TikTok. Here's an example of one of the videos that basically uses this product right here, which is the Kiss Falscara. Essentially what this is, is a lash bonder. So it's got one end that bonds the lashes to your natural lashes. And then it also has the seal, which basically seals it down and makes it not tacky. When you use this product, your single lashes like this are gonna be pretty much attached to your lashes for like two to three days. So I've actually been using this little combo for a couple of months now whenever I want that extra like oomph of lashes it's so easy and the lashes that I use are these single lashes that I get from Amazon they're really affordable okay so basically all you do is you take the bond side which looks like this and you pretty much brush this through your normal natural lashes you basically want to get right to the root and use this as almost like a mascara when you apply this your lashes will become tacky and you can now go in with the single lashes and start applying them from underneath your lashes so I've got my single lash right here on my tweezers and I'm just gonna literally apply that right at the outer corner on the end of my lashes. I then also like to use the tweezer to kind of push it into the lashes and really make sure that it's nice and bonded. And then I will pretty much go in with multiple single lashes and just carry on applying it until I've got my desired effect. The only thing I will say about this product is that it does dry very, very quickly. So you kind of want to work in sections. All right guys, so that is my one eye done. And honestly, it is such a transformation from the before and after and it is such a low maintenance as well You don't have to apply any mascara You honestly just whack it on and it lasts probably up to like three days Sometimes if any of them fall out you basically just top it up with the bonder So you want to carry this with you at all times. Yeah, I feel like it looks so natural It doesn't look like fake lashes. It literally looks like lash extensions when you look from top down So I'm now just gonna repeat the same thing to my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay guys So those are my eyelash extensions completely done. Oh my gosh, I just love them so much. They were so easy to do as well. It is now time to wipe off the lip stain and see what is revealed underneath. So I've got a bit of tissue. Let's just go for it. Oh my god, it's very red. 
It is so red. What the hell? Wow, that is very pigmented, you guys. Okay, I've gotten most of the residue off. This is what it looks like. It's still very pigmented, but I'm sure over the next couple of hours slash days, it's probably gonna go down. I can't believe I was gonna put this on my cheeks. Should I still do it? Maybe I'll use one of the other shades. This may potentially be either my worst or best idea, but we're just gonna go for it. I've got the shade Zesty Bestie, which I'm pretty sure is a little bit more orange. Let's just try it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I could just have two orange splodges on my cheeks for the next couple of hours. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit of this onto a tissue just so that we get a little bit less product. I'm now gonna pick up some of this onto my beauty blender just so that it's nice and subtle, you know? And then I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly dab this onto my cheek. Okay, it's so light that nothing is even happening. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. Okay, that is looking really nice and natural, actually. I'm really liking that shade. I'm now gonna repeat the same onto the other side. If this isn't the most sweat-proof and budge-proof makeup for summer, I honestly don't know what is. Okay, guys, so that is my finished semi-permanent makeup. I honestly love this so much. Obviously, I'm still waiting for the self-tanner to develop. I will come back in a couple of hours once I wash it off. Okay, guys. Guys, I am back. I've just washed off the tan and it basically just applied a little bit of lip balm because my lips were a little bit dry from that stain, but this is the absolute finished look. I am so happy with it. I feel so sculpted and really put together. I literally look like I usually do when I wear makeup, even though I haven't put any base makeup on. That fake tan contour hack definitely goes a long way, so I'm giving that a massive thumbs up and I'm definitely going to be using it in the future. Also, that lip stain as blush is such a good shout. It literally looks so natural and I know it's gonna last so much longer than like a powder or a cream blush would. But yeah, that is my complete semi-permanent makeup look that I feel like is gonna last for at least a couple of days, which I'm so excited about. I had so much fun trying out all these cool techniques from TikTok and trying out these cool hacks and products. Let me know which one of these steps was your favorite and whether you are gonna recreate any of them and try them for yourself. If there's one thing you're gonna try out from this video, at least let it be the contour hack because honestly, I feel like it is life-changing. Anyways, that is all for this this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. If you guys did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. But that is all for now. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.